It's Warcraft Day. Come play with us this game. Greetings, everybody. This is Stormy with the capital Z coming back at you with another replay request. This is going to be from the replay request series where anybody and everybody is welcome to send me replays. To know more about how you can send me your replays, you can join the Discord server. Link to that is on the Twitch panel and in the description below. Alright, so we got Jockey spawning in over here. Bottom right, uh, 4 o'clock his position as the orange orc. He has been training really hard under the superior guidance of Rook, also known as Savage 70. And he will be playing off against a Nidal player known as Metal Baron, spawning in as Blue at the 11 o'clock. There's going to be an opposite spawn. The map is going to be Turtle Rock. Gone are the good old days of Turtle Rock where you have a close spawn. And I would definitely love to have a Turtle Rock game where we have a close spawn because that is something that was a dynamic in this map. You can only have an opposite spawn or cross spawn. And that will decide how the game works out to be. Since this is an opposite spawn, we're likely going to be seeing a lot of action towards the right side of the map for the most part. When the players deviate towards the left, it will be mostly because they would want to creep a bit away from their opponents. Gain some experience, some items, perhaps put down a sneaky expansion. Uh, ever since the whole uh, close spawn idea of the Turtle Rock has gone away, you do have a dynamic in Turtle Rock where players actually put down an expansion to their close spawn location. And that's not really a bad spot for an expansion if you think about it. And we have the Peon Steve heading in towards an idle base. With going in towards the cross spawn location to detect what is cooking. And Peon Steve is already under attack by the angry Karen. He's gonna go into the camp and he's just going to walk away. Peon Steve will survive momentarily and Peon Steve will... Well kinda accomplished his uh, purpose there. He wanted to know what hero is there and he knows about it so despite of losing his hero, at least, uh, losing his unit, yeah, nah, it's a hero. Let's just call Steve a hero. Steve's a hero. It's going to be Blade Master for Jockey. Blade Master versus Keeper, Classic versus uh, Meta Choice. Current meta choice was classic meta and Jockey got the kill on that turtle. He's gonna get another one. No. It was just a small turtle, but of course it matters. It matters definitely on the early stage in on the early stages of the game. As we have the archer being followed, tree being whacked. An entangling root going down just as the blade master goes enters the wind walk there. And that's one thing Jockey's got to be a bit careful of. You don't really want to use the uh, wind walk after the entangle route is enabled. It's not really gonna work that way. Get the archer down. Nice heal there, my metal baron. And to put down a hunter's hall there. So this is gonna be a pretty standard build from what I see. Jockey's gonna try and take the hunter's hall down. Uh, the blade master is dangerous, close to where? Yeah, that's that's yeah, that's very low health there. Oh no! Seriously, Jockey, why? Why did you have to do it? Well, it's just a level 1 hero, so he's just gonna be coming back anytime soon. We got a lot of hunters back at the base, though. Headhunters. Well, we can call them hunters for simplicity, I guess, late, uh, lately. Uh, he sacrificed himself for the Warsong clan. I believe you're Blade talking about Peon Steve, then the Blade Master. Blade Master was being weird in that moment. Alright, I'm gonna give you. I'll, I'll give you that, I guess. Centrius, the keeper, I'm going to go in for some more camps. And what do we have here? Second Ancient of War being set up at uh, the close spawn location. Ancient of Wonders. He's got enough to tag, but he isn't tagging up just yet. Not really sure what's his idea, or if he just kind of just forgot about tagging. We got a couple of headhunters there. And quite frankly, I don't really see headhunters as that big of a threat. That that's surely meta, they can deal a lot of damage and uh, late game, they're very 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 viable but early game, you can actually tear them apart real good if you know exactly what to, what to do. 
I guess in the pro scene, pro level, I guess it's gonna be a bit of a different dynamic, but at our level, they're not really that good, in my opinion. You just need some good stuff, you just need the traditional good old stuff as... Uh, I'm not really sure why Jockey backed out lightly there, could have easily just went back to the... Yeah, just just do that, just, just buy yourself a nice little duster appearance and push back in. There was no need to leave that area. We're gonna go in, get himself double slippers there from the items, or rather from the, um, the town is under siege. enemy, enemy, nah, the creep camps, and whoa, I just, I just noticed my little widget over here is not correct, and I just closed in the camera, so we're gonna have to have a look at the entire game in the zoom perspective. With not detonating and being taken out. Alright, Headhunters almost taking out that ancient war. Here comes uh, the Nine of Army. Going to entangle down one of them, trying to target on the other. Treants on the assault, targeting down them one by one. Uh, there goes down an Owl Scout on the top. Uh, Dust Appearance and the last hit. Now the Blade Master will level up and now they're gonna go after the Keeper. Keeper is taking some damage there, gonna have to be very careful. Keeper may just get taken out. If he's stunk and he just did. Yeah, this is exactly what I was talking about. If not, if you're not gonna be pl playing safe there, definitely gonna get your hero taken out there. Although, he does have this Owl Scout that's gonna give him vision, you know, right outside his base. In his front yard. His balcony. If you mean. Ancient War being targeted. A lot of damage there by the headhunters. Should go after the Wisp. There we go. Two hits. And now take down the Ancient of War. Disabled the production at least from one of the buildings. As tier 2 is coming in, Keeper is on his way back, and until the Keeper is coming back, Jockey can basically enjoy free reign over here. Take down as many as much as stuff as he wants to. There's not much that the archers can contest with against uh, these units. Headhunters and archers are comparable though. Piercing attack, medium armor. Piercing attack, medium armor. Uh, HP is a bit more. You got better attack rate on the archers. You got uh, slow attack rate on the headhunters. High HP, low HP. So yeah, they're kind of comparable if you think about it. And yeah, that's kind of how the meta came in perhaps. <laughs> High DPS piercing damage. We're going to take out that one little headhunter and then pull in the creeps, start creeping there. Jockey going to set himself a tower while going in for tier 2. He's not done with tier 2 yet though. Alchemist coming in. We want that watch award though. It's of utmost importance considering the fact that this is an opposite spawn blade master going in and he wants it. Jockey got it, lovely. That's exactly what I would call being at the right place at the right time. And that Blade Master was at the right place. Now, there's a huge advantage that you have with the sentry or rather water ward there. It's also going to reveal invisible units. But since Jockey did not lose it, he also retains his Blade Master's ability of uh, lurking around wind walking from this area. He won't be detected. Courtesy of the Watch Award. Knowing the location or rather position of the Watch Award is also a bit necessary if you think about it. Because, because if you know where it is positioned, then you know exactly where to go in from, and that's actually a lot of vision. That's a lot of vision, man. For a Watch Award. You can see up till right here, if you think about it. Oh no, that's the Owl Scout. The Watch Award can... You can move you can up till here. That's, now, that's a lot of vision there. That's really a lot of vision on the Watch Award. 
never really concentrated on how much vision you get. I just knew that you get vision, but that's actually a lot of vision that you get with the Watch Award. Keeper, uh, Metal Baron rather, may want to go for the other, other camp and try to get that since he couldn't get one. Although that's not going to be, you know, any beneficial at all. Just gonna give him information when Jockey is on the other side. That is important, but it will not be that crucial as this one. Well, this one's definitely gonna be much more crucial as it's right between their bases. A player's forces are under attack. Shadowhunter out on the field, uh, Orc starter pack bot, and they're gonna go in for the turtle camp. So they're gonna go in for the smaller turtle first. No, nope. switching attention to the big one. And I love the way that the guard guy from sea turtle is just being melted by those headhunters. This thing deals chaos damage, and it's really good against low HP units such as headhunters. But the headhunters will make short work of it. Is that a wisp? That was a wisp. A player's forces are under attack. More Gangan to sea turtle hunting, I see. It's a rewarding camp, I must say. That's a level 7 creep there. That gives you a lot of experience and a really good item as well. On the other side though. Metal Baron going in for two camps at the same time. What's he crazy or what? He pulled in the red camp and also okay, this probably wasn't intentional. He probably wanted the cre wanted the three ends there, but accidentally pulled it in. But despite of that, it's gonna work out in his favor. But this is an interesting spot though. He can actually get the ogre magi back in this location if he wants to, but it's already gone back, so I don't think it's gonna come back. Or or is it? Oh, Jockey's already attacking. The altar was spawning a hero but then stopped. Okay. At least look like it was spawning a hero and we got the ogre magi at a very different location I can see. There's one way of having the watch award abused by the way. I just thought about it jockey and orc, sp orc players can do it. Get a Kodo beast, eat the ogre magi. And then get the Kodo Beast to your to the location where you want it and have it digest. Well, keep the Kodo Beast there, defend it there. Have it digest it and then just respawn the Watch Award. You can actually pull the Watch Award from the other side of the map towards the location where you would want it to be. Alchemist taking a lot of damage. No heal parts. Pretty beefy though. Taking a long time to take it out. The fight between the angry Karens and the headhunters is raging on. Both of the heroes for Metal Baron Fall and uh, hunt Hunters and the Archers trying to take out each other, but it can clear. We can clearly see that there is one army that's overwhelming the other, and it is more specific considering the fact that you have. Uh, heroes and he doesn't and you now also have spellcasters to add into that fray. Battle Baron will say sigh or rather just sigh and then GG. And that was a good game I must say. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching and listening. If you have enjoyed what you have seen don't forget to hit the like button subscribe for more. And just like always I'll be seeing you on the next episode of Warcraft. Hey, it's Warcraft Day. Day. Come play with us this game.